Welcome to Ann Arbor, Michigan, where there is growing angst as Brady Hoke's Wolverines have lost seven of their last 11 games dating back to last year. It doesn't get much easier today. The Utah Utes come to town, led by quarterback Travis Wilson. He's a big man with big play capability, and he leads the nation's third highest scoring offense into a Pac-12 Big Ten battle in the big house. For the Buckeyes, that's safe to say. Davion Smith gets nothing on his first carry. Of the Over the middle, Funches couldn't hang on. High throw by Gardner, and Funches got walloped by Blecken. He has a reputation as a hard hitter, and he's living up to it. Well, again, I'm watching Devin Gardner. He's locked in on Funches. And this just shows courage by a wide receiver. And it's very difficult when you catch the ball at its highest point. And Blecken times it perfectly. And I love how he gets his helmet out of the way so he doesn't get a penalty or targeting and makes a good, solid football play lead with the shoulder. Inside handoff on third and 16 that draws groans from the crowd. Justice Hayes, who's their third down back, taken down by Jared Norris. Second down to loosen him up so you can run the ball. Michigan blitzes. It's a screen to Bubba Poole. He gets a good block on the edge, and now he's off and running. Only one man can catch him. And what a great effort to run him down. Jordan Lewis was the only Wolverine with a chance. And it was a great block by the left tackle. Jeremiah Potasi, who got him off and running for 67. Well, they catch him in the blitz, and nobody peeled on the back out of the blitz, which is a mental error. But I want to tell you something. Jordan Lewis comes from way behind, outruns two wide receivers for Utah. Because Dave Christensen, the offensive coordinator, takes leads away from him. He knows where he's going with the football right now. Goes to Tim Patrick. Former walk-on, just put on scholarship. Davion Smith, the tailback. Gardner in trouble. Got away from Nate Orchard. And does not get away again. Jared Norris took him down at the 20-yard line. Closing speed by Jared Norris. First of all, it's the pressure. Devin does a good job of getting outside and getting away from Orchard. Now he should throw it away. Don't run the football. Throw it away. It's two yards of offense. Will Hagra punt. Kalen Clay, very dangerous return man. Only the punter to beat. And Hagra didn't get him out of bounds. Touchdown, Utah. Great job to remain in bounds by Kalen Clay. Senior from Long Beach, California, will play just this one year at Utah. Already his second punt return for a touchdown this year. And he green up the middle and stuffed and driven back by Jared Norris. Four-man rush, the pass deflected and falls incomplete. The line of scrimmage to Utah 46. They attack. Gardner and they get him. Jared Norris has had a terrific first half with another sack for the Utes. Well, he has closing speed. And Jared Norris, number 41, is going to come all the way around from his inside linebacker position. They do a nice little stunt where he's kind of... Edges for 82 yards. And they throw it to him again. Off his hands and intercepted by Brian Blecken. Flag thrown on the return. Blecken across midfield. Shot out lost in the last regularly scheduled meeting against Notre Dame in that rivalry. First time Michigan's been shut out in 30. Cost him in that Notre Dame game. First completion for Thompson. Now he has another as he hits Kalen Clay in stride. Back-to-back -back first downs. Lake Countess showing blitz, and he comes. Thompson throws the other way on target for a first down. Kenneth Scott, the catch. And he's fired up as he moves the chain. Well, you have to hold your blitz because what that did by him able to recognize the blitz coming off the backside. Movement along the line by Michigan. High snap. 
Thompson has some running room along the far side of the field. Has the first down. The defender out there, Ryan Glasgow, was slipping around. They go to the run, and it's Bubba Pool through a big hole, and then weaving through the traffic in the Michigan Territory to the 43-yard line. Joe Bolden made the tackle. It's a run of 24 for Bubba Pool. Wow, outstanding job by Bubba Pool being patient, allowing the blocks to set up in front of him, seeing the open area, and bursting through. They go quickly to the line. Travis Wilson goes right, man wide open along the far sideline. Bubba Pool again, Sippy State. Second and ten. Another wide open receiver over the middle. Drez Anderson touchdown. First offensive touchdown for either team in this game. And an impressive start to the second half for the Utes with their starting quarterback back in this. Rez Anderson, the touchdown, and that was easy. Alabama worked from the booth. Look out! Gardner is sacked by Nate Orchard. He got away from the blitzing safety, Tevin Carter. But there was nowhere to go. Well, again, they got their number because he's dialing up blitzes right here. Both guys are going to come off the edge. And the problem Devin's having is that his head turns. So when his head turns, he has to take his eyes away from the oncoming blitzers and away from potential receivers downfield. That's just the right call at the right time. Running back was on his left. Which probably doesn't help the fake. Crowd hates that call. Davion Smith ridden down right at the line of scrimmage. Filippo Mokafisi to make play for Kalani Sataki's defense. High snap. Great catch by Gardner. Green running out of room. Yes, it is a lot harder to see from field level. Gardner throws and a big hit by Tevin Carter to make sure that Davion Smith didn't catch it. Well, this is on Devin Gardner. Again, you want to get the ball in transition so it's smooth transition when you force your uh, receiver, Smith, to turn back. Green, the lone back. 11th play of the drive. Design run, perhaps, for Gardner. Yes, it is. Will he get there? No! He got banged down short of that yellow line. Well, it's a run-pass option for Devin Gardner. And he made the decision to run just a tad early, which allowed guys from the back. Third down and four. Michigan desperately needs a three and out here. Wilson under duress. Throws caught. Tim Patrick across the field. And out of bounds in Michigan territory at the 35-yard line. Your screen. Gardner steps up and then shoveled it ahead to Derek Green. Ooh, he got planted by Tevin Carter after he got the first down to the 37-yard line. Well, uh, again, for all you youth coaches out here, take a look at this because this is the proper technique. One step and rep, two steps and squeeze. Head across the bow and run through your target. Oh, and by the way, come with some bad tensions. Like he did. Clean bad. Gardner throws, intercepted. Threw it right to Gianni Paul. Devin Gardner. Devin gives a quick little look, which forced him there, but he comes right back to his target, and Gianni just follows the target right to the path of the ball. Devin, I think, knew it right away when he threw that football. Well, what a day. Good mulligan by him. Travis Wilson keeps. Even after he got crushed on that play that sent him to the locker room in the first half. No lack of courage. Brian Monet, a native of Salt Lake City, Utah, made the tackle for Michigan. When your leader does this, Sean, not only do the guys on the field get excited, but I watch. Morris, the backup quarterback who started their bowl game last year against Kansas State. Wilson has a lot of running room. Out of bounds. And third down to 19. This is big. This would make it a 16-point lead. Michigan would have to get two touchdowns and two two-point conversions. My goodness. 
This is a guy who never kicked in a football game until he walked on at the University of Utah, ever.